Hey everybody, uh, Zach with you here from uh, Evergreen's mentorship program. I'm joined with uh, Keja and Miss Kenya. And Miss Kenya is one of our, our great mentors and Keja is one of the, the newest clients that we've gotten. We're so proud that she's joined with us. Kenya, can I turn to you real quick? You know, what have you been able to, to do so far with Keja? And you know, what are some of your plans for the near future? Well, um, first of all, like, you know, coming into a new program, you know, it's a lot of apprehension is uh, apprehension that is there because, you know, a lot of mentees don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. So part of it, the first go round is just building a relationship um, with different clients to make them feel comfortable and establish a rapport with them so that we can better connect them to services or, you know, um, give them the resources that they need or be there emotionally for them. And at this point, because uh, we've only been working maybe a couple of weeks together, maybe two weeks at the most, mm -hmm. but I think breaking down those barriers was the <laughs> first thing that we needed to do. Yeah. Cause I remember, uh, and Keisha, you could let them know <laughs> that you did not want Definitely, to Definitely. I plan first. on it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the first step is like you know removing those barriers and meeting them you know where they are so that they are comfortable with even communicating um with a mentor you know mm -hmm. so if you can just tell them about uh your apprehensiveness mm -hmm. to the program and how you overcame that yeah okay um well Kenya first reached out to me and I believe I looked at her message maybe a, for a couple of days. I was just not having it mm. at all. But she was very persistent, like, I'm not going to leave you alone. <laughs> this is not how that works. I'm, I'm going to help you as far as you want me to, but I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm going to keep pushing forward to help you, encourage you. And I'm just like, uh, okay. Like, I was just not feeling it at all but then one day I literally just set up a meeting with her and ever since that meeting it's like Kenya is like my sister from another mother it's like she mm -hmm. understands me understands what my mind because my I have problems with like my mind on different thoughts all the time and the first thing she do like just breathe take a minute and she just reassures me, redirect me, encourage me, and just basically let me know that it's okay and that she's here. Like, no matter what, what time, what day, she's there. And honestly, she really is. She, you know, she may, you know, she has a job. So, of course, she can't text back, you know, quickly. But she does her very best. And I appreciate that because I am a off-the-wall type of person. And I fear a lot because I have went through a lot of different counseling sessions, but this one was different. Mm. It's like somebody actually cared. And that's what makes me like want to continue with everything because I honestly feel like she cares and she don't care just because her job tells her to. Mm -hmm. Because that's I have never had nobody be like, I'm not going away. So <laughs> I've never had that. And I believe that's probably what made me set up a meetings because she's that persistent. Okay, let me give her a try. Mm -hmm. So I do believe like so far with, you know, our work and, you know, the past couple of weeks, about two weeks, I do definitely see myself continuing this, especially with Kenya, not saying that I want somebody else as a mentor slash therapist because I don't, yeah. but as long as she's here, I'm here. That's how I feel. Good. We plan on having her for more than the next couple of weeks. So, yeah. <laughs> and no, I ain't going good. anywhere. <laughs> you know, I think that's the, that's the most important, you know, with, you know, just establishing that relationship um, because, you know, we do care. That's why we're doing what we're doing. And so, like, we're going to, you know, help educational goals that a person has emotional goals that a person has it doesn't matter what they need assistance with we are here to you know help in any way that we can and I think the first step is just creating that relationship removing some of those barriers and making the client feel comfortable like that's number one mm -hmm. you know so thank you for sharing yeah well thank you for not giving up on me 
I'm not. I, I told you I wasn't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> No, that's very powerful. So definitely appreciate you just sharing that story about just, you know, the initial uh, overcoming the anxiousness and the distrust. Let's face it, you know, it's hard to open yourself up. You don't know who you can trust or not. So just appreciate it. And uh, hopefully this is this inspires some folks watching this to, to also, uh, you know, give a shot to this and see if it can't help them open up and share some of the things that they need some assist with. So thank you so much. Appreciate you both so much. Thank you. Thank you.